Today we're talking about something important that's been making waves in the music world and it involves Rema, the Nigerian sensation and a recent situation that has got fans talking. Let's dive into what's happening and why it matters. Buckle up, this is the no BS version. Let's rewind a bit to 2019. That's when I first discovered Rema's music and let me tell you, it was something special. He dropped his self-titled EP and it was just four tracks, but geez, it was fire. Do Maybe was the standout hit and I knew right away that this kid was going places. I was so impressed that I even did a review of the EP on the African Album Review podcast and from the get-go there was something about Rema that set him apart. His sound, his style, his energy. It all screamed star power and I remember thinking this guy is the future of like African music, Afro beats, this is the guy. And you know what? I wasn't wrong. In a few short years, Rema has gone from that uh, promising explosive new artist to a global sensation. It's been amazing to watch his journey of unfold. He's on the back of one of the biggest songs in the last year and a bit, Calm Down with Selena Gomez. You know, watching Rema's journey has been like seeing a little brother grow up. From that baby-faced kid with raw talent to the global superstar that he is today, it's actually incredible to witness. His musical growth has lived up to all that early promise and then some. But here's the thing. As he's matured, he's naturally started making more of his own decisions. He needs less of that watchful big brother eye, if you know what I mean. And I think that's part of why the recent situation has hit some fans so hard. So what's the situation? Recently, Rema has been seen smoking ciggies and it sparked a lot of conversation and concern among fans. It's not just about the act itself, but what it might represent. And you know what? There's more. There's been bizarre behavior happening between Rema and Maven Records. For starters, in the last few weeks, there have been rumors everywhere that Rema bought out his contract with Jones and World, his label, and Maven Records, and he's now a free agent. Nothing official has been announced to that effect, but there's been, you know, some social media hints here and there, a little spat uh, between what Maven has tweet tweeted versus what Rema has tweeted. And recently, Rema deleted pretty much all his pictures on his Instagram and removed any trace of Maven Records and Jones and World. <sighs> Bizarre behavior. And that's the kind of stuff that fuels rumors and makes people think, is Rema okay? Now, I'll be the first to admit, it's a pretty big assumption to make that something's wrong just because of this, or Rema is going through something and all that. We don't really know what's going on in his personal life. And let's be real for a second. If you've ever listened closely to some of um, his more, let's say, mature lyrics, you realize that Rema probably grew up a lot faster than we thought. We just maybe never saw it because of his baby face and all that stuff, you know. But still, fans are worried. And here's why. Health concerns. We all know the health concerns associated with smoking. It isn't great for you, um, especially for a singer, actually. Uh, and then role model status. Many young fans look up to Rema and seeing him, you know, smoke could influence their choices. Then I would also add the change in image. For some, this feels like a shift from the fresh faced star they first fell in love with to a completely different person. And that's not easy to take. This whole situation really makes you think about how we view young artists as they grow and change. It's a reminder that our idols are actually real people. Rema is a real person with real lives and real challenges. They're not frozen in time as the persona we first fell in love with. And we actually see such disconnects in different contexts. For example, when people fail to move with an artist musically, when, say, the music he made five, six years ago uh, is different to what he's making now, and some, art some fans are like, well, you know, I used to like his older stuff. You hear that 
all the time. But I really want us to zoom out for a second. Rema's rise to fame has been meteoric at best. I mean, at just 24, yeah, he's 24 now. He's already achieved international success, collaborating with stars like Selena Gomez, like I said, and topping charts, man. He's got songs like I Spies and all that stuff. And so he's a global artist. But with great success also comes great pressure. And that's what we need to talk about. Being a star isn't easy, and imagine having your every move washed and judged by millions. You couldn't even walk the street if you wanted. The pressure to constant, constantly perform, create and maintain an image, all this can be overwhelming. Sometimes people turn to harmful habits as a way to cope with stress, like legit. Obviously, we don't know if that's the specific case with Rema, but it could be. So what's a constructive way forward? First, I think all of us, all of us need to approach this with empathy instead of judgment. Like I said, Rema is human just like you and me. We could express support for Rema's well-being. It's okay to be concerned. And a lot of people have said, hey, I just hope Rema is okay. There are a lot of tweets expressing concern, not necessarily judging him, but just wondering what's going on because the image makeover it's heavy for us you know but it's also important to remember that celebrities are human too secondly this is a chance to talk about you know healthy coping mechanisms just between between you and me for anyone dealing with stress whether you're a global superstar or not for sure there are better ways to handle it than smoking and it's about finding those things and it's not it's not easy to kick the habit Lastly, I'd say we can use this as an opportunity to discuss the responsibilities that actually come with being a public figure, while also acknowledging the immense pressures they face. Because the other thing is, Rema is a global superstar, a star. He's, he's, he's a role model. So they're actually young people, uh, maybe, you know, teenagers or whatever, that are also looking up to him. And in part because of that, Rema does have a duty of care when it comes to his image, you know? That's just how it goes when you're a celebrity. I could sum it all up by saying the fans are concerned because they actually care about Rema's well-being and as somebody who's given us fantastic music for years, sometimes that change hits us in some way, right? Because we want to see him happy, healthy, and just growing into this ultra talented you know man uh, from a boy that's just the reality so i think a lot of it is coming from a place of love from the fans and not necessarily uh judgment per se the pressures of fame the constant scrutiny the intense workload that actually comes with being a global superstar especially with uh, you know a mega hit song that's everywhere will contribute to stress and anxiety in some cases young adults particularly would turn and you know what just adults people would turn to smoking as a perceived means of just managing these pressures despite the well-known health risks and there's another aspect here smoking in popular culture is actually glamorized as uh, this this role that um, plays into being cool or rebellious and stuff like that, which honestly can easily influence a lot of young individuals into adopting these same habits as a way of fitting in or projecting a certain image. It's even more pronounced in industries like the music industry, where if you go to studio with maybe even some of your idols and stuff like that, they're doing these things and you could easily get caught up in it. That's the reality. But again, not saying that this is Rema's situation, but it could be. However, for me, whatever the case, I just want Rema to be all good, happy and healthy. That's it. What do you think about this situation? Is it just a natural phase of growing from a boy to a man in the case of Rema? And also as fans of the music and the artists, is there any way we can better support, you know, artists in similar situations? I don't know. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And you know what? Remember, if you're struggling with stress or harmful habits, it's always okay to actually seek help. 
and their resources available. I mean, taking care of your mental health is just as important as your physical health. Otherwise, that's it for me. My name is M. Jomoto, son of Zimbabwe, signing out. Peace. Dende. Oh, you are the danger.